Hey, Jen. Hi. You doing good? Doing wonderful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I know. Work. All the good. So I thought, um, so my coach, John Kitchens, who also um, does, is one of our partners for our Real Estate Fight Club podcast, he is a great coach, of course, but he also wrote this article that I thought we could talk about today. So his article was on five things to let go of now to have a successful business. And one of the points in there was how limiting beliefs are holding you back. What do you, what do you think about limiting beliefs? Like, what are they? Have they ever held you back in your life? And how did you break through? And all the questions. Yeah. I, so, you know, I'm a big mindset person. Like I always come back to mindset and I, I, I've, I've learned in this career and in life, like it is amazing how much we put ceilings on ourselves and put ourselves in a box. Like it yeah. is dramatic. The differences that we can make. I think Just especially like, like in, we're in the Midwest and I used to um, coach under Mike Ferry who's a big real estate coach. And he used to always just like dismiss me. And he'd be like, you're from the Midwest. Like you guys are all like the same. You guys are like, oh, it's enough. I don't need a lot of money, da, 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 right? Yes. And like part of attending his events and being around all these other people outside of the Midwest and outside of my little box of people was I learned, like it, it blew my mind. I realized, I was like, wait a second. I can make as much money as I want and I can do with it whatever I want. So if I don't feel like I need it, I can just give it away, you know? Yeah, you'll never have an issue having too much money, right? Like it's a great opportunity and there's so many good things you can do. It's, it's, it's not about you, it's, it's bigger. Yeah. And I, I, I love that. And that's actually a big thing that we talk about a lot, Jen, like think big. Yeah. Like, you know, do you want to be a real estate agent or do you want to be a business owner and potentially change like a ton of lives? Like that's what this is about in some ways. Well, and what do you do it for? Right? Like we all, yes. we all work. Okay. Working is, it's not like a, do I work? Do I not work? Like you go to work. Right. So it's like, until you stop and while you're working, you, most people will work to, uh, for a means to an end, like they work towards retirement, but what does that really mean? But what if you were working towards something bigger? Like one of the dreams, I have a couple of dreams. I actually say them in my affirmations every day um, that I'm a, I'm a money magnet so that I can, and then I insert my why. So like some of the things that I want to do, originally it was so that I can buy investment property. But as of today, I've reached my goal. What was and that goal? Big numbers, big numbers. It was 13. That's incredible. Yeah, That's I had incredible. more before, but this, and then I sold some, but then I was like, this is, the right amount for like what I'm doing. But then I um, wanted to, now I want to do like, I want to be an angel investor. I want to provide housing for um, people that are moving into the United States, like doing like an owner financing situation. I want to do and like have safe, good, clean housing for them. Um, start a school, a real, not a real estate school. Maybe it will be a business school, like an international business school for seventh to 12th graders. Like that's some exciting shit, right? Yes. Yes. Like, Massive. If, yes. So I would never have thought about that. Like if I didn't connect with people that if, well, let's go through like some of the limiting beliefs he mentioned. So in yeah. the article, he mentioned like kind of the top 10 and we all have had this or it ebbs and flows. I'm too old or too young. I'm not smart enough. I'm not educated enough. I'm afraid of trying and failing. You have to have money to make money. You've already tried everything. It's selfish to want more. That's like a big one for us, right? I don't yeah. feel I really deserve it. I don't have the willpower or like all the good things are taken. That's more like <laughs> what females yeah. say about men. Like all the good ones are taken. <laughs> might be true but, yeah uh, right exactly <laughs> I, I i do think like you know that's a that's a very general list but like in real estate like think about how many times you've heard people say cold calling doesn't work that's a right. big one right? yeah cold, uh, door knocking people I, I don't like door knockers so i would never door knock it doesn't yeah. work i'm and right. like there's people out there that are making 
more money than you and I have ever considered right. from doing that don't work. Right. Uh, and they wake up every day believing that if they do it at a high level and they do it consistently, like they're going to get amazing results. Yeah. It's that simple. But I like what you said in the beginning about mindset, because it's like, I want to clarify that mindset is not, sometimes it gets collapsed with positive thinking and is not yeah. positive thinking, right? Yeah. What to you is the distinguishing factor there? Um, so I think mindset for me, because I've talked a lot about this with my coach, you know, mindset for me is um, a lot of it is, is taking away what I, what I can't do. So like take, take away all the can'ts yeah. and, and look at what do you want mm -hmm. and let's build a path to get there. Let, let's assume that everything is possible. Yeah. So it's not about like being like, everything's okay. And every day is a good day. And that has nothing to do with yeah. it, but it's all like, I'm not going to say because I've never done it before, I can never do it. Right. Right. And I, that's to me is it. So like, if you have a big goal, like do it and find a way, like make a plan, treat it seriously. That's mindset to me, focus and belief. Belief's a big one. Belief is a big one, but there's, there's that, like always that thing in the back, right. That's like, like at Keller Williams, they called it the drunk monkey. And I've heard it referred to as like the green gremlin. Like, I don't know why it has color. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But like, it's always like some type of whatever, right? But it's in, always yeah. in your voice or, or your parents' voice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but it's like, you can't do that for whatever reason. Like you, you're not like this list. You're not smart enough. You're, you have enough. You don't need to get more like all this. Yeah. I don't. I don't know that, that thing I have found one of the ways that helps me is not only being around people that think bigger, like you had mentioned that, like just being around people that think bigger, but also when that little voice happens, just like writing it down, like writing down what I'm saying to myself, writing down how, what I'm feeling about that, what actions am I taking because of that? And then it like, for, for me, that's like, oh, well, no wonder, like, no wonder that I'm yes. doing that because this is what yes. I'm saying to myself. And then it just like, it kind of like releases. I don't know. Have you ever done that before? Yeah. And like, to me, I think, you know, and I use this word not in a religious context. I think it's important to say that because this has nothing to do with that. But like, I look at it as like the fear versus faith paradigm. Okay. Like you either have fear and yeah. it drives away and it scares you and we and we 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 cower down or we have faith that if yeah. we do the right work and I, and i've found like fear and faith really can't exist together in the same room no that's true right yeah and 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 if you can put it out there and whatever drives your faith whatever that is if you can allow that to like live in that room with you you can fight through any fear because usually it's not real the, the fear isn't real. It's, right. it's all yes. fear. And the, How do you but, know? Like, do you have a specific example and what you did to transfer that fear into faith and, and move forward? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, even from a real estate standpoint, I can, I can give you a great example. So I was a very successful agent as a team member. Mm -hmm. That's how I, and um, I went out for four months away from the team and I had results, but like I, this thing in my head was like, when winter comes, you're not going to have enough and you oh, can't do this. Wow. And it ate me up. Like it did. It really, really did. My, even my wife was like, this isn't you, man. Like you're a confident guy, Yeah. but I'd never done it before. So I was so scared. And guess what? That fear dictated results. Like, right. I was doing what I needed to do. It was a self-fulfilling prophecy. Right. Uh, and then once I, I actually like made the decision and, and I think making that decision is a big deal, whatever it is, like make right. decision, man. Um, and once I did that and I committed, like I got the results that I knew I was capable, I knew I was capable of, but I yeah. was scared, just yeah. so scared. Um, and now, what do you like, think I, you were scared of? Were you scared of like what this one mentions about like the fear of failing? 
it was fear of failure. You, can, you know, I, I've got a big ego. I, 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 I put, I have no shame in that. It's not a strength at all, but, but it's a fact, right? The last thing I wanted was to like go out and fail and think, oh my God, you know, this was so, what was I thinking? Why did I think I was good enough? Like everything was just beating me down. Yeah. And um, the truth is, is now I, I'm, I'm, I'm successful. I'm happy with my business, but mm -hmm. even yet, and you and I had talked, I told you what I'm doing. And you said, you can easily do double that. And I thought, oh, shit, can I like, you know, you can, can but, like, but to your point, I know because I've done it. That's it. And that's why being surrounded by people that have done more than you and are better at this than you and have done it longer. Like it's so important because yeah. I don't trust you. I know you've done it. Yeah. I know. You, and, and that's awesome. Like that's a gift. And, um, yeah, I mean, we could do this for three hours. I think there's so much meat on this bone. Um, but yeah, this this is the game changer, guys. If you're out there and you're floundering and you're you're making a lot of excuses and you find you're not doing anything, mm -hmm. this is a changer. Put or if you're out there and you're looking at where you're at and you're saying, dang, I'm at the top of the pile here. Like I'm the one that's doing the most, but I know, because that was something that I went through. I was like, I know that I can do more but my environment needs to change in order for me to do that. And that's a lot of people that we're attracting um, that are coming with us. That's, that's what they're saying. They're following that same journey. Like they're like, I got to shake up my environment in order to support my new goals. Right. Yeah. 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 And we've created, I, I really believe we've created like a culture of winning Yeah. and we're winners and we're seeing big results and we're masterminding and like, it's really a, a powerful thing because like I'm surrounded by people that are so much better at this than me. And like, I'm loving it. It's, it's, it's so fun. I know, yeah. you know, um, do you have a theme song? Uh, <laughs> that's a great question. My coach, like, themes every What's time. That? my coach and I do have a theme song every time we, uh, we start our call. Yes. What is it? What is it? Uh, it's an ACDC song. Um, uh, how's it go? Do, 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 do. Uh, you rock me all night long acdc that's your it's, song it's the best it's like it gets you so revved up this is i would never admit this other than dia but yeah it gets me so Except revved that we're up. live on facebook i know i love you guys no but it's like a good like it gets me jacked up like you know and i need that energy like that's what keeps me going what's I your theme it. song mine is dj khaled all i do is win all i do oh, is win. that's good i like that song <laughs> You're so beautiful. Mine's like a '70s rock song, and yours is like this hip, hip 2020 jam. Look, That's funny, you know. But um, I, I think you're right. We can. I want to finish with a couple of final thoughts and get your final thoughts. I'll put um, this article that John Kitchens wrote. I'll put it in the vault, which is jennifermartland.com/vault, and then he is also offering um, for our real estate fight club podcast listeners, he does offer a free business assessment. And that is a good place to start. If you feel like you could do better, he will literally put a mirror in front of you and be like, well, here you go. You know, like, obviously you're where you're at in, in order to move forward. Like this is what we need to do. So that's a great tool. It's free. You would go to coach, uh, coach with kitchens.com. And then you have to enter in fight club to get that. But then I also did, um, my mom does a lot of like brain health. And part of this brain health is realizing that you can actually get whatever you want, which is what you said. And so I did like an interview series with her on the YouTube page and it should be on the Real Estate Fight Club YouTube page. And that's a very good video. And it's like five steps of how to get what you want. And most of it is talking about this limiting belief stuff. It's insane. Yeah, I really liked watching your mom. I, I think that's like a um she's the best. She's very she's very smart and like it yeah. is interesting. Uh and then the other thing I would suggest, like, um, you know, I'm sure John does this, is figure out like why you're doing this. Keep asking yourself why until right. you get down to the true core and then um put a plan together. Like figure out what you want to do for that why and like let's design a a, a roadmap to get you there yeah. because man. We have there's a great so opportunity, much, right? There's so much opportunity. This, and it's not just financial, it's everything. Like you can design a life and that's incredible. I think it's so okay to mention here too, that your why can be selfish 
And if it doesn't make you nervous or it doesn't give them like for a lot of people, they actually tear up. So if you're not tearing up and you're not nervous about it, it, that's not it. You haven't landed on it. And if you need help, like I, I'm pretty good at, I can make people cry. So like you can call me and I'll make you cry, but we'll find out your why. It'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and usually it's not general, right, Jen? Like it's something very specific, specific. not like for my kids. Okay. Why? Why? You know, what, what is it, you know, and dig, 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 dig. Cause there's probably something in your past that yeah. is affecting your actions in your present. And like, you know, there, it, it's a great opportunity to change your life. So I hope everybody jumps on this and That's talk to John and talk to Jen and, and take a chance on yourself. It can get cool. Yeah. Do better, man. So everybody else can do better. Do what, better um, man. If people, you do business in Ohio, if they have a referral for you, if they want to learn more about EXP or about your journey or whatever, what is the best way to get a hold of you? Yeah, just call or text. It's 513-379-2000. And I'm always looking for referral partners, no pressure, conversations. It's all fun. Awesome. If you want to get a hold of me, it's 513-400-1691. All right, TJ, I'll see you later. See ya. Bye. Bye.